okay you know to do annotations there in the annotations tab okay um, you know baseline dimensions were kind of interesting because you can select like that you know and then you can select another couple of you know, points and it will automatically create dimensions you know from that baseline just be sure to hit create you know when you're done um, I'm gonna go try to retrieve some dimensions from like this and so you select features view it's cleaner um, select parts so I'll just bring in all the dimensions okay and okay and I'll select the dimensions I guess uh, we want to keep I don't know <sighs> keep these two dimensions and go okay all right so that you know allow me to kind of select those and then I guess I can move them somehow yeah, there we go cool and another interesting you know is uh, feature is you know you can create an ordinate set you know it's like I said let's choose this one and then let's Choose this one, this one, this one, and I don't know if I can choose something like this or not. Um, but let's say this one and this one and see what happens, and let's go continue. Okay. Um, anyway, it's creating this set of dimensions, you know, from our origin point, which was listed there. Um, you know, but you can pull them out clearly either side you want. And this makes more sense. Okay. And click to position and I guess create so all these you gotta remember to hit create otherwise you'll lose it if you try to escape out of it but anyway you can tell you know, that's our origin point and that's 20 mil that direction is 360 mil this direction 710 mil and 730 mil respectively in those directions 